Hello, have you heard about the 50 30 20 rule of wealth creation? Well, that is what I want to talk about in this video. Welcome, this is Dr. Obed, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing about the 50 30 20 rule of wealth creation. Now, this rule is a money management strategy that helps people build wealth and achieve financial independence. It's actually a budgeting strategy. Among many budgeting strategies, this is one of the commonest and the easiest. Also because it is one that has given the most results. Now, this strategy helps you to properly manage your finances and structure it in the various categories that are necessary for you to both live a comfortable life and build wealth in the process. 50, 30, 20 are percentages. 50 plus 30 plus 20 is equal to 100% of your income. This is how you actually budget your monthly income. Now, this rule says that 50% of your monthly income should go towards your needs. 30% should go towards your wants, while 20% should go towards your savings. Now let's talk about each of the three categories. The 50% going towards your needs actually means your basic living expenses. That is your monthly necessities. Talking about your groceries, food, your transportation, utilities, and shelter, talking about your rent. So these are your basic necessities that you cannot do without in a month. So 50%, which actually means half of your monthly income, should be set aside towards this your monthly necessities. Now this are the things that you must spend on your needs are things that you cannot do without if you do not have money to pay for your needs in any month that means you are in a dead financial emergency they cannot wait your utilities for the month cannot wait your transportation and your shelter that is your rent cannot wait this 50 percent should be put aside for your needs you have to find a way to ensure that you do not spend more than 50 percent of your monthly income on your needs putting all your necessities into this 50 percent so that you don't spend more than necessary in the month the next category is the 30 percent which goes towards your wants the 30 percent includes things that you love you want to get but you don't necessarily need them they are not an absolute must for you in the month but they are things that you love and that make for a comfortable and a happy life you are talking about your entertainment your hobbies maybe travel shopping for extra clothing eating out and things like that you see, you can do without shopping for extra clothes in cases of financial emergency, for example. You can do without dining out. You can do without some of those subscriptions and those travel and entertainment, your hobbies. You can do without them in their financial crisis. But for your needs, you cannot do without them. So, but these things are the things you love. They will make you happy. It's important that you capture it in your budget so that you don't live a miserable life even if you're trying to build wealth and achieve financial independence. So you ensure that only 30% of your monthly income is going towards these things that you want, that you love, but you don't absolutely need. This is the category where people actually spend very extravagantly and frivolously if you hear that people spent money that they do not have on things they do not need it is in this category it's a category where you can quickly just go 
and spend money impulsively on something that you just think that you like. So if you are not careful, you are going to spend way more than what you need to spend on in this category. If you are left, you will spend so much money on just shopping or just buying one expensive car that you do not need simply because you like it. So you have to ensure that only 30% of your income goes towards this category of the things you want but you don't need absolutely. Now this means that you may need to save up for those things. If in the month what you want to buy in this category is more than that 30%, you may need to refer it to the next month and save up for that purchase but you ensure that you do not keep spending more than 30% in this category. This is very vital. Like I said, this is the category that can keep you stagnant financially on one spot because you keep spending money that you should have used for either your savings and investment or your basic needs on things that you can do without. Now, the third category and arguably the most important is the 20% which goes for your savings. Now, this 20% is very important. It encompasses all your savings, including things like your emergency funds. If you don't have an active emergency fund, which actually means three to six months of your living expensive, saved up in an account if you don't have up to this amount saved you may need to save up for your emergency fund through this 20 percent this 20 percent can also include your savings for your investment account savings for investment purposes maybe for real estate or stocks or whatever you are investing into this includes money in that 20 percent this 20% can also include money for your debt repayment. Assuming you are still in debt, you have not paid off all your debts, you can put aside a certain portion of this 20% for your savings into paying off your debt, especially high interest debt. It's important that you are off debt before you can even begin to save and invest actively. So this 20% can also include money that you are using to pay off your debts. Another way to pay off debts faster is to include it in the 50% that goes towards your needs because it's assumed that paying off debt is an absolute necessity. So if after paying for your basic needs, your utilities, food and groceries and transport and shelter and you still have a little amount left you can also add it towards paying off your debts so that you pay off your debts as quick as possible now this 20 percent is usually the category that is at most risk for being used up for other things you must ensure that you do not use up this 20 percent for either your needs or your wants. This is because this 20% is the portion of your income that actually is for you. It's the portion that goes towards your future goals of building wealth and achieving financial independence in the future, of not having to work for money or of not having to worry about money in the years to come. In retirement as the case may be so you should ensure that this 20 percent is always removed is not tampered with by the other categories the 50 30 20 rule is a wonderful strategy that can help you build wealth if followed to the latter like i said it's not the only budgeting strategy there is but it's one of the commonest because it's easy and it has proven to work for many people if you can stick to it and ensure that every section is given the attention it deserves 50 percent for your needs 30 percent for your wants and 
20% for your investment. If you can do this faithfully over the long run, especially also when you invest the 20% wisely, you are going to achieve financial independence in years to come. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.